fact that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Bonjour Red Kangaroos and welcome to Ferndale. We're playing as Marcus in this level. We have um we've just dis we've just come back from the dead actually. And now we look like a homeless person. Which is fine. So we have to find these symbols everywhere and he gave us the key that that robot did. He gave us the key, and we have to um. Wait, uh, there we go. We have to find these, and then it will update the clue. So we have to go find these. Yeah. So <laughs> that's really all this level is. Finding Jericho. Don't go up the Android path. If you go down the. Uh... Now, on the other side of this fence over here, this this one. There is a man literally waiting to bump into us. He's right there. And he won't start walking. Till we do. And because we saw him, he did not bash into us. Are you really going to get rid of Mandy? Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. I know, honey. So I'm assuming Mandy's the robot. So on this one, there are two ah symbols. There we go. Clues updated. And I also know where that is. Now I'm human. I can jaywalk. <laughs> Yeah, I could jaywalk before. But... Yeah. Now no one cares. <laughs> and I also know where this one is. I just know where all of these graffitis are in this game. Hello, homeless person. Okay, what does that say? It's a. I'm pretty sure all the signs say something about losing their jobs to androids. So, scan that one. Scan that one. And then that one's obstructed. So. And no one cares that we're sneaking through here because we're human. And we can move this. updated and we can go over to there oh I also knew but if we go down far down here I'm pretty sure it is nope sorry I thought there was an Android uh, the dead Android maybe they're around here somewhere I just know there's a dead Android somewhere let's go let's go search for our dead Android pal there he is Hi pal. Wait, is there a can we can we, can we Yeah, there we go. Oh man, he's doing great. Let's see if we can find more. It's like Pokemon except we're trying to find dead brethren. <laughs> I do not see any more dead androids. What a shame. 
Damn. Anyway. So three on these, and one of them is on the, like, over there. So we get up there using this. And then we can scan this. I have to go to that one, which actually says Sparkle City on the wall. Um, I actually want to go to Sparkle City. Seems pretty nice. So what Marcus does here is, you know how Connor can reconstruct things? Well, Marcus can pre-construct pre because they're both prototypes, and you can take two di two different paths. That one will kill us. And this one, right here, is the right path. So we're obviously going to go through that one. I feel like that's a special talent that all free runners have, just the pre-create ability, pre-construct ability. But imagine a fusion between Connor and Marcus, and they both get, and like the fusion gets pre-construct and reconstruct. Right, Sparkle City, give me all your symbols. There we go. And we have to go up there. I hate this next symbol. It's such a pain in the ass to get. So, I know the correct path, so... That's just what I'm going for. Just this is easy. I want this pre-construct and reconstruct ability. It'd be pretty neat to have in real life. You could become a really good detective. And a free runner. So this next one, you have to line it up and then, whoa, I got that first try. I normally don't get that first try. But you have to line up the pole correctly. Otherwise you can't scan it. I'm actually surprised I got that first try. through here uh, I can hear people outdoors Jericho look at us look at us we're here at Jericho how fabulous all right we can't go across the bridge because it will break so we have to do some cool through run stuff So Jericho is a boat. It's a little freighter. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if you expected that. But yeah, it's a boat. It's a boat, guys. We finna live in a boat. All the Marcus, like, scenes... Like, all the Marcus levels after this are just, like, some of them are really cool. Also, the music for this game is amazing and it fits so perfectly with every scene it's in. Just look how cool this game is. We're lucky, there was water there, otherwise we'd probably break our legs. 
And we'd have to go like crawling and finding new ones like we did in the last level. Ah, I am failure. Right. Let's go get ourselves a little light from here. Dead lucky that still works. With How does that still work? How long has that been trapped under that? God knows. If he was real, he would know, at least. So you probably hear things, and that's because the members of Jericho are in here. I'm not even going to bother looking through these doors. Nothing really good in them. And around this corner. Wait, I just want to try and catch it. Perfect. Ah, oh, you can't. R2 whilst that's happening. Basically, ah, that right there was north. And I told you about north earlier when we were looking through the deviancy files. North was a sex android. Good for her right now. Just kidding. Um, north likes to kill people. And I like to kill people. Of course, killing people in Marcus's route is definitely the worst decision. You definitely want to go pacifist with Marcus if you want a good ending. And the thing is, I don't. So, of course, I'm going to go with my militant approach. Marcus is going to become Robo Terrorist instead of Robo Jesus. Sup, my foes. Oh, look, it's Daniel. Just Welcome kidding, it's Jericho. Simon. It's Simon. Although it looks like Daniel because they're the same model. But Daniel's dead. Daniel's very dead. Met people of Jericho. Woo! Woo! How fun! How fun is that, guys? Woo! Oh, wait. Damn it. <laughs> That's connected.